Hey everyone, Karen Glasser here, and I'm standing at the Lorenzi Estate Vineyards and Winery. I said that right, right? Mm -hmm. With Brenda Lorenzi. She is the owner, along with her husband, Don Lorenzi. They're going to go like this, I think. Maybe we'll do like this. There, there we go. go. Okay. Oh, they don't want me to do okay. that. Okay, we're going to do it. We're just okay. going to get it really cozy. Close. All right, and we're standing in the tasting room right now. So, Brenda, tell me a little bit about how, how this whole winery vineyard came to be. So, Don and I started making wine at our home 29 years ago as a hobby. And um, then uh, in 2011, this property became available, so we purchased it. Mm -hmm. It was uh, 16 acres with five acres planted. Right. So we planted it out to the 15 acres and then built and opened the taste room in 2011. And what I like about this picture right here is this is the tree that was here when we started the vineyard. And there was five acres planted behind there and then nothing else. So wow. the tasting room, and we could do a little scan. Yeah, we're going to actually walk through the tasting room right yeah. now. So the tasting room was opened in 2013. I'm going to turn the camera around. Hold on. Let's turn this around. And I'm going to do a circular of the tasting room right now. Okay. Yeah. So the tasting room was opened in 2013, and we did the first harvest of the full estate in 2014. And uh, this is the original tasting room that we built. Um, and then outside we had some seating area, but we right. just recently expanded. It's um, beautiful out there. We yeah. were just sitting out there right so now. So then going back to this picture, and then we're going to walk outside and yes. see all of the beautiful gardens that we put in. Awesome. Okay, so guys, come along with me as we go outside and see this amazing, amazing view. So. We've got, a, we've got right. tables up there, right. So we have three patio areas. This is the upper patio. Uh -huh. And then we have a newly uh, expanded members only terrace that can seat like 50 right. to 60 people. And I know there. you have musicians and music going right. on. So now we've added music every Sunday. And then we have this back patio area where we can seat uh, up to 50 people. But we do do... Wow. Um, yeah, one of the things we do is outside tasting. So you can do a t tasting or glass of wine or bottle of wine and enjoy the outside area. Of course, in the fall, it's exceptionally beautiful. I can only imagine. And you do food here. You do you actual... No, you can bring your own You food. can bring food, but you do right. your, for the wine club, though, you have... Wine club dinners. Wine club dinners. Yeah, so, guys, we just joined um, because we've been desperately looking for a place uh, to be in Napa that we're not in Napa anymore, but now we're here. Napa quality. We're Napa quality. Actually, uh, your wines, how many of your wines are, have been uh, graded over 90... 49 now. 49 yeah. wines have in been graded. In the five years we've been open. That, I mean, that's that's pretty impressive. It's very impressive. Very, <laughs> I do have to say so myself. <laughs> and, and guys, what's even more impressive about Brenda and, and Don is that they didn't start here in the winery. Tell us a bit about the magazines that you have going. Right. So we publish Inland Empire Magazine, which is one of five regionals in Southern California. Mm -hmm. There's LA, Orange Coast, San Diego, Palm Springs Life, and right. Inland Empire Magazine. And then along the way, my husband became a really good cook, and I, he said, if I ever want a restaurant, don't let me. I said, do what we do, which is publishing. <laughs> so we launched Taste of Italia magazine, which is a recipe-oriented cooking magazine distributed nationwide in Canada. And it's gorgeous. I just saw a copy of it. It had an amazing steak on the front. I and have to I make. think one of the reasons he's such a good winemaker, there's two reasons. Number one, he... So the, one of the reasons he's such a good winemaker is he has an exceptionally good palate. And he can, you know, fine-tune those recipes exceptionally well. And so as a winemaker, it's the same thing. You're right. tasting each right. juice, you're making blends, you're figuring out exactly what point you want to pull something off of Of course, oak. of course. But then also he's quality oriented. So we drop fruit, we pick late, we bottle age. We've just finished releasing our 14s, and now we're going to start the 15s. So Amazing. they've been bottle aging all of this time. Well, the wine's, be, wine's just tasty. The yeah. wine is tasty. So back to the grapes. Right now, um, you look around and you see all of the purple grapes. Everything's turning purple right now. Right. And then we're going to start harvest. We'll, we'll harvest the Chardonnay first. We'll do that in about a week. And then by the end of October, all of the red grapes will be uh, picked. And this is a beautiful time of year to be here to see all of this. But then after, uh, in the fall, um, the leaves start turning red and yellow and orange. Yeah. And the fall is beautiful. Right. And th those leaves will stay on uh, through November, December when we get a nice big wind and then it'll blow them off and then we'll have that little dormant time until March again when we get our first first green leaf that pops out. Hey Ricky, I see we have some people on. We have Ricky on, we have Dahlia on, we have Marat on, Joey's on. Hey, hey Joey. Joey. And we've got <laughs> Bruce Benton on. Hey guys, uh, Mary Riley, 
I'm so Great. glad you're tuning in. <laughs> Guys, don't just tune in. Next time you need to take a vacation, not need to take, next time you want to take a vacation, you should come out to the Temecula Valley and you want to come and visit the Lorenzi Estate Vineyards and Wineries. I did and I'm coming back and I joined the winery. Thank you so much. Guys, come on out and visit us. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.